Welcome to the Crunch Time YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 2020 to 2021 playoff bracket for the upcoming playoffs which start today. And just going to be giving my opinion on which teams I think I make the Super Bowl, who wins, who loses early, etc. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to show you all my results from the first round right now and explain everything that I have happening. So I'm going to start from the AFC go to the NFC. Just easier for me, left to right. So, Tennessee Baltimore, this is easily the game of the week, in my opinion. These are the two probably closest teams. They've played a lot, have a bat, have a history with each other. We know how, how uh, it happened last playoffs, how the Titans upset the one seed Ravens. And I think the Ravens get their revenge this playoffs. I think Lamar, Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins will run over this Titans defense. And I think that's going to be the main key. Moving along to Pittsburgh, Cleveland, I think that Cleveland is the better team right now, but they lost their coach who's not playing. Olivier Vernon got her, like, Joel Batonio's not playing because of COVID, so is their uh, safety Ronnie Harrison's not playing. So just because of all those factors, I just have to pick the Pittsburgh Steelers. I do think Mike Tomlin is the better coach. And with some assistant who's going to be calling the plays, I just don't think that's going to help Cleveland. I also think that they'll be able to protect big men a little better against the Browns, whose defensive line is a little shaky. Definitely one of their biggest needs. Now looking at Buffalo-Indianapolis, this is a game that kicks off the playoffs. I have the Buffalo Bills winning, but I do think this is going to be an extremely close game. I think that the Colts actually match up pretty well against the Bills. They just have a really good defense, good run game. So that could maybe scare the Bills a little. It's going to be interesting to see how that matchup plays out. Washington, Tampa Bay, that's self-explanatory. Especially with Alex Smith might not even be playing. They said he's, his, his, pro, his progress is like getting worse. So that might mean Tyler Heineke would be playing. And I'm not taking Tyler Heineke in a playoff game. Um, Seattle, LA, I actually was really leaning LA in the beginning of the week. The issue is that it doesn't look like Jared Gosling, it looks like John Wolford's playing. And it's really tough to pick John Wolford, like, same reason for Tyler Heineke. It's tough to pick those players who've played, like, so little in their career against, like, superstars who've been in the league for a while, like Russell Wilson and Tom Brady. So, I just don't think Wolford will be able to outplay uh, Russell Wilson, even if this is a really good LA Rams defense, but it has to do some crazy stuff to win today. Saints Chicago, I think this also could be a really close game, because uh, last time they played, it did go into overtime, not sure if Michael Thomas was playing, he's been in and out of the lineup entire season, Kamara's playing, Bridges is playing, MT is playing, gonna be fun to see all of them back together, but I have to take the Saints, just more talented. Roquan Smith is also questionable, I believe, and he's a huge part of that defense. So, moving on to the second round, I have Kansas City beating Baltimore, and I think that Kansas City is gonna have a little easier chance beating Baltimore than some other teams, just because they blitz. Baltimore is so reliant on blitzing so often, and you don't blitz Patrick Mahomes if you want to win. That's what Tampa Bay realized in the second half, um, of their game when they played them in the middle of the year. And I just don't know if you can trust Lamar Jackson in a shootout with Patrick Mahomes. But it would be nice to see Ravens getting your first playoff win with Lamar Jackson, even if they lost in the second round. For Steelers-Buffalo, I don't see how Pittsburgh really wins this. Their offense can't keep up with the, uh, the Bills. Josh Allen's just too good compared to Big Ben. Neither team has, like, a great run game, but it's not like the Bills even need one. But the Steelers, they'd be much better with it. Their run-blocking offensive line is not great. Their offensive line is extremely overrated as well, but they've just not been great this year. Have to take Buffalo. In Green Bay, Tampa Bay, this might be controversial, but I'm taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Last time they played... They had a perfect game plan to stopping Aaron Rodgers, and I think they can use a similar game plan. Th these are probably the two talent most talented teams in the NFC, but 
because of the seeding, they have to play each other in the second round. And having a first round bye might not even help a team. Like if if you had to choose between playing Washington round one or having a first round bye, I'd play Washington round one. And that is you're still playing football. You're not taking days off, which is a big issue. Teams can get rusty, and if a team like Tampa Bay can capitalize on that and score quickly, then I can see a lot of issues for Green Bay. And then for Seattle versus the Saints, I'm just not really high on the Saints in general. I was almost leaning towards picking Chicago, but just can't trust Mitchell Trubisky. Really think Russell Wilson will outplay Drew Brees. This will be Drew Brees' last game in his career. Would have been nice to see him do a little better in the playoffs, but that's how far I think he could make it. I just don't think the Saints match up nicely against a team like Tampa Bay, Seattle, or Green Bay. Now, we're going to move on to the two teams I have in the Super Bowl, and no, it is not Kansas City. While Kansas City definitely is favored to make this, I didn't want to pick Kansas City. I just felt like it's a little, like a typical bracket, always picking Kansas City. I wanted to do a little different. I also think Buffalo has a really good shot at beating Kansas City. Just because of the defense they run, they run uh, like a cover two, too high safety, which really Kansas City does struggle com- a lot compared to any other defense. And so that really favors the Bills. Tampa Bay, Seattle, if they're able to be Green Bay, I think they can be Seattle. Seattle's offensive line isn't that great. Bucks have a great pass rush. And it's not like Seattle has some tremendous defense either. That's going to help them stop Tom Brady. So that's how we got to this Buffalo-Tampa Bay Super Bowl. And the winner of the Super Bowl is going to be the Buffalo Bills. Now, I do think these are two very strong teams. Either team could end up winning. But I just think that the Buffalo Bills offense is a little more consistent than what we've seen from the Buccaneers. The defenses are also um, pretty good. Both are like probably top 10, top 15 defenses. I just think Josh Allen will have a very explosive day if these two teams were to play. No one can really guard like a Stephon Diggs. I know Bucks have three very unguardable wide receivers. But I just see this team struggling against like a defense like the Buffalo Bills. But this is what my bracket is. Comment below what teams you think play in the Super Bowl, who wins. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day.